How do you feel about Cardano 88 leaping to $10? Okay. We get the fact that Cardano's all-time high is only $3, and a short-term prediction of $10 seems like a lot to munch on for now. However, have you observed the current trends in the market? This year's bull run looks like it's set to be the best one ever. Yes, we don't know what is going to happen 11 months from now, but at least the year has started on a good note for the crypto market. On January 4th, crypto analyst Ali Martinez reported that Cardano whales have acquired over 14 million ADA tokens since late last year, valued at approximately 8.4 million at the current exchange rate. Of course, these substantial purchases by high net worth investors are commonly interpreted as a bullish signal for the specific cryptocurrency price, despite Cardano experiencing a nearly 20% drop in the first week of the year, reaching 50 cents. This followed Bitcoin's 10% pullback due to a pessimistic report on the potential approval of a SPY ETF in the US. Ali tweeted on X, In the last two weeks, hashtag Cardano Wells bought over 14 million ADA, worth around 8.4 million. However, at the moment of writing this note, ADA is trading at 52.7 cents, having increased by 14% since yesterday's minimum price. Cardano remains one of the most innovative smart contract platforms competing with Ethereum, and has had mixed performance in recent months amid significant fluctuations. Influenced by Bitcoin's decline and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's allegations that ADA is a security. It has been a chilly season for Cardano ADA, coupled with the general crypto winter. Nevertheless, the company responsible for Cardano's ecosystem development, Input Output Global, has repeatedly asserted that the SEC is mistaken, emphasizing that ADA is not and has never been a security under U.S. law. Despite these challenges, though, Ali Martinez maintains his prediction that ADA's price is in a consolidation phase, expected to last until mid-July of 2024. According to Martinez, shared chart, once ADA exits this consolidation phase, the price should be aiming for approximately $4, thus making a staggering 600% increase. In a similar vein, various analysts have suggested a breakthrough. As reported by a crypto news platform recently, analyst Luxi pointed out that ADA is at a critical juncture, either breaking the resistance at $0.67 cents and rising above $0.70, cents, a price not reached in the last 17 months, or falling back to $0.40, cents, which did not occur on January 3rd. The famous crypto YouTuber Dan Gamordello also anticipates ADA's potential rise if it manages to break its current symmetrical triangle pattern, projecting it above $0.80. Cents. We are glad about this touch of optimism to every Cardano prediction. However, the coin is trading 81% below its historical peak, reached in August of 2021. So will ADA break the downtrend and reclaim its glory days? Bitcoin is currently on an interesting run. There is no doubt about it reclaiming its glory days, but for Cardano ADA, nothing is certain yet. Even when Bitcoin was experiencing the harshness of the crypto winter, the bullish updates were unwavering. Last year, Blockstream CEO Adam Beck, one of crypto's early pioneers, was very confident about Bitcoin hitting an all-time high over $100,000 before Bitcoin's having event this year. He was willing to drop a million wagering on it. In an August 7th conversation on X, Beck agreed to a bet with pseudonymous X user at Viking of Bitcoin that Bitcoin will reach $100,000 by March 31st of 2024. The user said that they believe it won't happen until 2025. The wager date comes in roughly a month before the halving, as Beck stated that the price will probably reach a new all-time high sooner than the actual date of the halving. Beck was setting down hard-earned funds to support his claim. Unfortunately, it was a million satoshis, not US dollars. Now, let's look at the fate of Cardano 88 and all the other altcoins in general, in anticipation of the Bitcoin having event. With the event set to happen in April, the crypto community is eager to know the potential impact of this anticipated event on the prices of altcoins when Bitcoin starts to exhibit its historical rally after the event. In this insight, Google's artificial intelligence chatbot, Bard, was quizzed on what could be Cardano's potential price movement if Bitcoin hits $200,000 after the having event. ADA's most recent price decline has been attributed to the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's speculated rejection of all Bitcoin spot exchange traded funds. However, this narrative has since changed. Notably, despite acknowledging ADA's possible price predictions as challenging, the chatbot still deduce probable price actions based on historical correlation and market dynamics. Bard noted that in higher optimistic outlook, which entails a general positive market sentiment and Bitcoin reaching $200,000, ADA could spike 10x or 20x's current value. This simply implies that Cardano ADA could trade between $5 and $9.6 based on the current prices. Bard also added that aside from the overall positive market sentiment, other factors like Cardano's blockchain technology strong adoption and the significant growth within the coin's ecosystem are also very crucial. 
As for a moderate outlook, Bard insisted that Cardano's price would likely increase proportionately to Bitcoin's. It projected a 3x increment from ADA's current value. Based on Bard's predictions, ADA could surge to prices ranging from $1.44 to $2.40, clarifying what could drive ADA to the projected height, Bard remarked. This scenario would likely involve a spillover effect from Bitcoin's rally, but a slower adoption rate for Cardano compared to the optimistic scenario. The chatbot further noted that in a pessimistic scenario, ADA could remain stagnant or even drop to lower values. Concluding his take on ADA's possible price trajectory post-Bitcoin halving, Bard emphasized the need for research, diversification of crypto portfolios, and prioritizing fundamental analysis over speculations as crucial to becoming a profitable crypto investor. Notwithstanding, we are reminded daily that Cardano, which is trading 87% below its all-time high of $3.10, is a Layer 1 blockchain, similar to Ethereum. As a result, it offers the same core functionality and utility as Ethereum, including non-fungible tokens, decentralized finance, Web3, and gaming. Most times, this is why it's so puzzling that Ethereum, with a market cap of $242 billion, is worth nearly 20 times the value of Cardano, which has a market cap of just $13 billion. You can think of it from two different angles. From one perspective, investors have given up on Cardano ever surpassing Ethereum, and from the other perspective, Cardano is a hidden gem that investors have somehow overlooked. But there is a catch though, and it's the fact that there is still a lot to like about Cardano, including its phenomenal success in DeFi, which surged in the previous year. This was an area where Cardano had badly lagged against other rivals, including Ethereum, but if you look at the current total value log figures for Cardano now, the picture seems to have vastly improved. In the previous year, Cardano had success in several areas of DeFi, including the launch of new stablecoins and decentralized exchanges. All of this suggests that more growth could be on the way, especially this year. Furthermore, the chances of Cardano spiking to great heights seems realistic, since December 2023, all coins have been on fire. When crypto capital rotation occurs, it's the coins anchoring the long-established Layer 1 blockchain that immediately benefit. We have seen that play out in the rise of Cardano, Avalanche, and Algorand. According to data compiled by the S&P Global Market Intelligence, the trio rose a respective 15%, 33%, and 11% over the period. Just in case it sounds unfamiliar, Layer 1 refers to the foundational blockchain in a network. It is the system that records transactions and stores them in what amounts to a publicly available digital ledger. The most famous example of this, not least because it is the first Layer 1 chain, is Bitcoin. Since layer 1s are relatively solid basis for cryptocurrencies, it is often the storied ones with the most compelling use cases that benefit from capital rotation. And before, this round has to do with the retreat of Bitcoin following a recent and sustained rally. Investors have been selling out of it. This is occurring for a variety of reasons, among which is profit taking by opportunistic investors. It is also no coincidence that Cardano, Avalanche, and Algorand are programmable blockchains that allow for smart contract functionality. This provides scope for many types of applications and transactions and is widely seen as a financial technology of the future. So it's little wonder that investors are plowing into such coins as Bitcoin slumps. While top crypto may not be at the top of many wish lists right now, the market is still hot on digital coins and tokens in general. This year has been projected that the economic winds will blow favorably, especially with the Federal Reserve's decision to hold its key interest rates steady. Fed official statements that the regulator aimed to start cutting rates in 2024 were quite the gifts for the crypto bulls. Anyone with an appetite for relatively risky investments love lower rates, as they draw money away from the conservative assets to the more volatile ones. At the end of the day, every event that happens this year to Cardano 88 and, and to any other crypto can be summed up in one word. Bullish. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.